Hi awesome people and welcome to my channel. First of all, a very big thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. For those who haven't, a very kind request, please do so. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. You can also follow me on my Instagram page, Vivian underscore Songa. I'll be grateful. So today I'm going to prepare a uh, Kenyaji Mboga or Managu and I'm going to use groundnut paste. Um, if you watched a video of me uh, preparing groundnut stew, you noticed that I left some paste and, and the reason why I left the paste is because I wanted to use some of it to prepare this um, mboga which is Kenyaji Mboga. So at this moment I'm just boiling the mboga and then when it's done I'll go ahead and start frying it. So at this moment I'm cutting the tomatoes. Uh, you can cut it to your liking but just to mention I already cut the onions so I'm just cutting the tomatoes and then we'll start frying. While it's boiling, you can always uh, turn and try mix it so that it cooks well, and that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. So just me, I'm just mixing, just to make sure that it cooks. So next just put the oil together with the onions and start frying until golden brown. Ahead and add the tomatoes then mix together with the onions uh, for some time then I'll go ahead and add the salt You can cover the tomatoes so that they cook. And then after they've cooked, just try mixing the tomatoes. And then go ahead and uh, add the paste
uh, as you add the paste, you'll keep on stirring. Um, in this case, you have to stir, of course, for the paste to mix with the tomatoes. And then uh, uh, when it cooks, like it can only cook for, I think, three minutes. And then you can go ahead and add your Kenyanji mboga or the vegetable. So at the moment I'm adding the Kenyan jimboga of the managu or if you like the vegetable. So if you've noticed um, it's not like I put all the vegetables so I kept on adding small portion as I mix. Yeah that's exactly what you can see here so put um, the vegetable and keep on mixing and at the end, actually, I ended up just making sure that I've added all the vegetable and then mix at once. So when done adding all the vegetable or the managu, keep on stirring and mixing until you are sure that everything is all mixed.
lastly go ahead and cover so that it can cook and you're all set so thank you guys for watching and do have a lovely one